Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I use Linux as my main operating system. If you're not familiar with what that is, I do have an entire playlist called Making the Move from Windows or Mac over to Linux, and I will leave that playlist in the description area below. But today, I do want to take a more objective approach and talk about what the real advantage is of using Linux over Microsoft Windows or Apple's Mac OS. Because the entire operating system world and just technology world in general has changed a lot ever since the Linux kernel was initially introduced in 1991 and combined with the GNU portion, we actually have our Linux operating system, which is technically called GNU slash Linux or GNU Linux. But the majority of people just refer to it as Linux. Now, for people who have been using Linux for a long time, some of the main arguments that people use whenever they're talking about Linux versus other operating systems are things such as Linux is free and open source, there is more privacy, and those are normally the main things. But nowadays, a lot of our usabilities in terms of what we use every day, our programs, how we interact with each other, it's pretty much more alike versus all these three operating systems than it is different. And so if I had to rank these operating systems from the best in terms of usability, compatibility, features, just for everyday people, um, I would actually say Microsoft Windows is still at the top. And I know I'm going to get a lot of people who might argue against that. But at the end of the day, Microsoft Windows has the largest share when it comes to desktop and laptop operating systems. This is what normal people use. This is what the majority of people use around the world. More than 90% of people use Microsoft Windows. So with all of that being said, since we do have a large user base, this is where all the businesses and companies who produce software and hardware, it's going to be the most compatible with Microsoft Windows. And so that is a huge advantage. And there's really no way around that. If you want the most compatibility with all your software, all your hardware, then Microsoft Windows is, is the best one. Second to that is Apple's Mac OS. And the main reason why is because it's Apple. Apple by and far has the most powerful brand in the world. And their operating system, I really do like their operating system. I've used all three operating systems. It's very clean. It's very easy to use. And I would say it is a lot less intrusive than Microsoft Windows. But once again, when it comes to complete compatibility features, Microsoft Windows still has the edge. And that's about the only edge that Microsoft Windows has over Apple's Mac OS. And so which leads me to the Linux operating system that I'm using right now. It is a very small percentage of people who actually use this on an everyday basis. And what I mean by that is just normal everyday people. Most people do not use Linux as an operating system or they don't even know what the operating system is. But since we are using our internet browsers, which is the main way that a lot of people do their daily work, just think about all the things that you do every day. And a lot of what you do is probably going to be on your internet browser, which is available on every single operating system. And more and more of our services are on the web. There's cloud-based services, there's SaaS services. And so there's really not much distinction there. And at the same time for applications that are installed on the operating system itself, most of them are crash platform now. Things such as OBS, Steam, LibreOffice, you know, your virtual machine, all these things, they're all available on every single platform. And so there's not really much of an advantage there. And so with all of these things being said, I rank Microsoft Windows as the top, Apple's Mac OS as the second, and then the Linux operating system as the third. Why do I still prefer using this one over all these other ones? Well, the main reason why, in my opinion, is control. That is the main reason why. Whenever people talk about having freedom on their Linux operating system, what they're really referring to is control. You have way more control over how your operating system works and how it looks and how it functions versus these other operating systems like Microsoft Windows and especially versus something like Apple Mac OS. Now, at the end of the day, for me, the operating system and all the software that I use, these are tools. And so even though I really love using Linux, if it did not offer all the software and tools that I needed, I would not use it. That's plain and simple. But because of all the advancements that's been made in the Linux operating system, 
there's very few things that I would need these other operating systems for. So everything that I do for work, uh, for entertainment, it's all available here, at least for me. There's really not much lacking. Of course, I would love to have things such as Adobe on here as well. But over time, I think all of that is going to be on some SaaS service, cloud-based service as well. And so I'm not really concerned about that. So that is my overall thought on what the main advantage of using Linux over these competing operating systems. It's having complete control over your user experience, over the functionality, and over your privacy that these two operating systems simply can't match. But other than that, if you're using any one of these operating systems, uh, my feeling is just use whatever works best for you. Okay, so it doesn't matter what I think, it really matters what you think. And if Linux is something that might appeal to you, as I said earlier, I do have an entire playlist that will show you how you could actually make the move or maybe just learn a different operating systems versus the two main ones that we see daily. If you actually had any thoughts on this, whether you agree or disagree, whether you had any other thoughts on what you think is the main advantage of Linux over these other operating systems, or maybe advantages of these other operating systems over Linux, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me, and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.